Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about the limitations and losses of conventional tubes at micro frequencies. That means, uh, in normal communication systems like uh, normal electronics, we are using various amplifiers like a CE amplifier, CC amplifier, or FET amplifier. Other types of uh, amplifiers we are using, all these amplifiers will not work at these high frequencies. Are at microwave frequencies. Microwave frequencies deals with gigahertz of frequencies. Microwave frequencies deals with gigahertz of frequencies. That means in the order of 3 gigahertz to 300 gigahertz. So we know this microwave frequencies. Microwave frequency range broadly we can say 1 gigahertz to 100 gigahertz. Okay, more precisely if you want to say uh, 3 gigahertz to 300 gigahertz. So in this uh, particular frequency range, all the uh, amplifiers, whatever we have seen like uh, FET amplifier, BJT amplifiers will not work at this microwave frequencies. Okay, so we definitely move to the other types of amplifiers like a klystron amplifier or reflux klystron oscillators to operate the microwave frequencies amplification process. Okay, so what are the various limitations and losses associated with the conventional or more general uh, uh, tubes at these micro frequencies we are going to see here. At microwave frequencies, at microwave frequencies, the power required The power required is less and the size of electronic device, the size of electronic device is also reduced, is also reduced with increase in noise with increase in noise see the power required to operate any device at micro frequencies is very less compared to the normal conventional tubes okay we can consider this point as a advantage so at micro frequencies the power required is very less and the size of electronic device is also reduced but noise increases in turn that noise increases this is due to the capacitance and inductance effects at various stages of these devices conventional tubes conventional tubes like triodes tetrodes and pentodes are useful only at low microwave frequencies at low microwave frequencies special tubes would be required special tubes would be required even yet ultra high frequency like 300 to 300 300 to 3000 megahertz yes conventional tubes as conventional tubes have certain limitations at microwaves at microwave frequencies
okay see here generally what are the various uh, frequency uh, devices we are using triodes tetrodes pentodes all these are useful at uh, low micro frequencies nothing but in the uh, starting stages of the gigahertz but special tubes generally required at ultra high frequencies like a 300 to 3000 megahertz 3000 megahertz is nothing but approximately 3 gigahertz which is nothing but low frequency of this microwaves okay because our conventional tubes are having some limitations so now let us see what are the various limitations that are coming out when we are using these tubes at microwave frequencies the following are the limitations the following are the limitations of conventional tubes at microwave frequencies first one there are totally six limitations associated with this conventional tubes at micro frequencies they are inter electrode capacitance inter electrode capacitance you can say iec inter electrode capacitance and second one lead inductance lead inductance third transit time effects transit time effects and fourth one gain bandwidth effect gain bandwidth effect fifth radiation loss radiation loss this is the biggest problem when we are dealing with respect to microwave frequencies and the effects due to radio frequency losses effects due to radio frequency loss now what are the limitations we need to study inter electrode capacitance lead inductance transit time effect gain bandwidth product gain bandwidth product that effect and radiation loss effects due to RF losses. Okay, now let us see one by one. In this video, I can explain about inter electrode capacitance and of course lead inductance. Okay, remaining I will explain in the next videos. So, first one inter electrode capacitance. Inter electrode capacitance. So, what do you mean by capacitance? So why we need to study about this inter electrode capacitance? What do you mean by capacitance? Capacitance is, is formed by having a two parallel plates separated by any dielectric medium like even free air. Okay, free space will also cause some capacitance effect between the two conducting plates. So, we can say capacitance is formed Capacitance is formed by spacing two conducting electrodes at a distance D. Okay that space may be occupied by the air or any core material okay now what is the reactive component of the capacitance capacitance xc we can write it as 1 by 2 pi f into c so as frequency increases as frequency increases what about the reactive component reactance of capacitance decreases see here because the frequency is inversely proportional to the capacitive reactance xc 
okay as frequency increases capacitor reactance decreases so as frequency much increases and it goes to the high level like a gigahertz yes, capacitor reactance decreases decreases and it is simply acting like a short circuit it simply acts like a short circuit so yet high frequencies at high frequencies capacitance acts as a short circuit capacitance acts as a short circuit okay now let us see what are the different parameters of capacitances that are affected the that affects the operation of this normal conventional device see see here consider a triode which is having a three terminals like a gate plate and cathode so this is the gate and this is plate and this one is the cathode cathode okay now because of this inter electrode capacitance effect there are three types of capacitors that are affected one is cgp which is existed between gate and plate and cpk which is existed between plate and cathode and cgk which is existed between gate and cathode now as capa as frequency increases as frequency increases what about the reactive component of the capacitance decreases so at high frequencies these three capacitors are acting like a short circuit so that the gate and plate plate and this cathode and cathode and this gate are acting like a short circuits acting like short circuits okay so because of this this particular device will not work properly because it is acting like a short circuit okay what what should be the original action it should be open circuit okay there should no there should not have any connection from this gate to plate directly but because of this existence of capacitance the at high frequencies it is acting like a short circuit so there is a direct connection between these two then then there is no effect on this triode device okay and uh, these uh, effects uh, lg lk lp these three are uh, lead cap lead inductances i will explain them in the next concept okay now what is the problem and how to avoid this one so what is the remedy for this one so capacitance c can be given as capacitance c is equal to epsilon a by d epsilon a by d epsilon is nothing but again we can write it as epsilon naught epsilon or a by d okay d is nothing but distance between the plates and a is the area of the plate so to reduce the value of c either a should be decreased or d should be increased that is the only remedy at least we can reduce the capacitance effect okay to reduce to reduce the effect of capacitance either a should be reduced or distance d should be increased that is one of the remedies to avoid this problem so now coming to the second type of uh, effect that is a lead inductance lead inductance consider the same electrode whatever we have studied here consider the same electrode concept with three wires for the gate plate and cathode see here the wire which is existed from gate to the other device which is connected any other device here so that inductance is nothing but lg lg is nothing but lead inductance that is existed across this gate terminal now this at this plate we are having the plate inductance and it is cathode inductance so these three are wiring inductances lg lp and lk that are existed along with the wires so what are this lg lp 
L K. These are the three lead inductances, lead inductances that are existed at gate, plate, and cathode. So, what do you mean by X L? X L is equal to two pi F into L. That means as frequency increases, what about the L value? L also increases. X L X L also increases. The reactive component also increases because both are proportional to each other. Both are proportional to each other. So at high frequencies, what about these L G L P L K values increases? So as these are having more values, highest values, so they simply acts like a open circuit. Go to this diagram. See here. Suppose if the inductance or any reactive component from here to here it is more, if it is more, what about this one? It acts like a open circuit. It acts like a open circuit. So open circuit is nothing but there is no connection from here to here. And similarly, if LP is more, there is no connection from other device to this plate. Again, there is no connection from other device to cathode. Okay, that means it is the opposite case with uh, when we compare with respect to capacitance. Capacitance acts like a short circuit when the frequency is more and inductance acts like a open circuit when frequency is more. Okay, so the remedy for this one is so at high frequencies at high frequencies the inductance acts as open circuit inductance acts as open circuit which should not which should not occur in original behavior or natural behavior of the circuit okay so what is the remedy for this one we know l is equal to l by mu into a l is equal to l by mu into a is nothing but length of the coil l is nothing but length of the coil mu is a mu again we can write it as mu naught mu r into area okay so to reduce the effect of inductance, what we need to do? Either we should decrease the L value or we should increase the area value. Okay, any one of these two points may affect, may affect the, reduce the, may reduce the problem of this lead inductance value. Okay, so these are the two problems uh, that we are have we have discussed here, and remaining problems I will discuss in the next video like transit time gain bandwidth radiation loss effects due to RF losses. Okay, I will explain them in the remaining next video. Thank you.